Having seen many talented players on board come from the Digicel Cup this season, Matt says it will be a tough decision based on the many good talents he has witnessed during the Hunters training sessions. Yeah, it's going to be a really tough decision. I think everyone's putting their hand up at the moment, which is what you want to see. Um, we have a tendency across the first two pre-seasons that I had, um, they want to protect each other and when we do fitness stuff they want to uh, stay together so they're not getting punishments or, or extra penalties handled out. Um, but we, we soon knocked that on the head this year and everyone's really pushing hard and yeah. Matt said camaraderie has always been the dynamic that anyone would like to see between the players and that's no different for both the new players that are on the training squad and the returning players from the season. He said the new players have really stepped up and have put in a lot of effort during their training, adding value to the team. Look, that's something that's always the dynamic that you, that you worry about. And the new guys have, have really set a standard in that first week. Um, I was mindful of and speaking to them and said, don't take a step back when the senior players come back. Matt also added that having assistant coaches with him now makes things a little easier for him and a breathing space while he observes the team in training. My, my first pre-season I had Glenn Nami as an assistant. Last year I had no one as an assistant. Uh, and this year I've got Paul Aiton and, and Stanley Teppen. So uh, the ability to have them and um, I, I, do, I have them do a lot of the coaching as well and I just step in when I feel like I need it. I coach the coaches but also then give individual feedback to players. I, I'm, I couldn't be more happy with how we are at the squad. Hunters will take a break off in a few weeks to spend time with families and friends before returning and heading down to Queensland. Godwin Eki, TV1 Sports.